This is the new Samsung Impression, a touch messaging phone for AT&T. You can see the TouchWiz user interface here on the front. Uh, this is TouchWiz 2, it has the uh, dock, and you can take applications and throw them onto the home screen and toss them back there, of course, and um, hit the main menu here to access the phone's other systems. Taking a quick spin around the hardware, we've got just a couple buttons here on the front, send an end key and a, uh, a back key or clear key. On the left side of the phone, we've got uh, an application key here and the volume toggle here. Both keys have good travel and feedback. Um, nothing along the bottom. And on the right, we have uh, another uh, application key and the lock and unlock key. On the very top, we have a hatch covering the data port and uh, headset adapter port. And on the back, we've got a three megapixel camera, no flash, and, uh, and no vanity mirror. Uh, and of course, uh, one of the impressions, most impressionable features is the QWERTY keyboard. We've got a full QWERTY keyboard here, four row keyboard. The keys are, uh, are comfortably spaced and have uh, excellent traveling feedback. I really liked how the keys felt. Um, you have access to a lot of different keys here. Has uh, just take a profile shot there. You can see uh, how the keys are arranged. Nice little curve to them. Very comfortable to use keyboard. So that is a quick look at the new Samsung Impression messaging phone for AT&T.